Hello everyone, I am Siddharthan. In this video, let's understand how we can access OpenAI's newest model GPT-40 with Langchain. Understanding how we can access this model with Langchain will be extremely useful for you when you are working on use cases such as RAG or building an application with an AI agent with Langchain. So let's try to understand how we can do this in Python in Google Collaboratory and this will be the agenda for today's video and let's get started. So I'll open my Google Collab where I will install the required libraries and connect to OpenAI with my API key and then load the model with Langchain and ask it some question and get a response from it. So the first step is to install the required libraries and I'll connect my system over here and say pip install Langchain and Langchain OpenAI. So these are the two libraries that we need. One is Langchain and the integrated Langchain and OpenAI using which we will load the model. So here uh, instead of just pip install I'm going to add a tag with this double iPhone and upgrade. So what this upgrade tag will do is if you already have installed Langchain and Langchain OpenAI in your system it's going to upgrade it to the latest version. So if it's not present it's going to install the newest version that's available for these two libraries. So I'll run this. So this will install these two libraries and in the next step we can import the required uh, libraries and then kind of invoke the model and do that and also configure the Langchain OpenAI with the AP key that we can get from OpenAI. So in the next step, step I'll say import OS and then from Langchain underscore OpenAI import chat OpenAI. So pay attention to the upper and lower case letters. So let's run this. So this OS library here is used in order to save the API key from the OpenAI into the environment variables of this session. And then from this chat OpenAI, we can uh, load the GPT-40 model. So the next step is getting the API key. So go to Google and search OpenAI and openai.com. So there you will see this tag or this tab called as products and within that go to this API login. So this will ask you to log in with your account. So once you have once you are logged in you will see this page one is chat GPT and the other one is API and by this point I hope that you already have an OpenAI account and uh, GPT-40 model if you want to access it you have to have some payment method uh, enabled like a card or something else. So if not you can try with uh, other models like gpt 3.4 that shouldn't uh, require you to kind of sign up with this payment uh, method so that's one thing to remember so i'll click this api here and in the left navigation bar we can go to the api keys so this is the place from where we can create our api keys and here i'll give this create new secret key we can name this as let's say langchain integration and you can leave the other things by default so if you have some other projects created you can select this as per your need and now i'll say create secret key so this is going to give my uh, api key and i'll copy this and close this and i'll come back here and say os dot environ and within this i'll create a key called as open a underscore API key. So this name shouldn't change. This environment variable name shouldn't change because uh, when we load the model, right? So this is the place from which it's going to look for the API key. So you kind of shouldn't give a different name for this. So this should be uppercase and open a underscore API underscore key. And within that, we are going to pass the API key that we have copied, with, which is this. So this is how you can store the API key in your environment variable called as open a API key but pasting it directly in the code is not recommended so instead what you can do do is you can save this uh, key in a config.json file with this as the key and this as the value and load it uh, using this json uh, module that you have in python or the other better way is to put this key in an environment uh, environment file so you have this env file into which you can put this key and this uh, api key as well and then you can load it using this load dot uh, env so that's like a better approach as well so for demonstration purpose i'm just putting this api key in the code uh, but it's not recommended okay so that is the next step so let's run this now i'm going to say llm is equal to chat open a and then we are going to 
pass the model name so we have this parameter called model into which we have to name the model that we are going to use so gpt iphone so if you want to use 3.5 turbo you can use this for gpt 4 go just say gpt 4 with smaller case letters and then i'm going to say temperature okay so the temperature should be sorry let's say zero so again you can explore the other hyper parameters that you have so this temperature what it does is it's uh, how much random you want your responses to be so if the number is closer to zero that means each time you ask a specific question it's going to give you different answers so sorry when when the number is closer to zero it, it won't give you different answers the answer will be similar but if the temperature value it's kind of an hyper parameter right so if the value is closer to one it's going to give you different responses for the same question so if it's it's zero it's going to give you the same response every time so it's more or less like it's the same response so similarly you can also include other hyper parameter as well so here we are creating a variable called as llm and to this llm we are uh, loading the model from chat open ai and the model that we are going to load is gpt iphone 4 and the temperature is zero so let's run this now we can pass a message and get a response from this llm so i'll create a variable called as messages and this is the format in in, in which you can pass this so create this variable and create a list and within this list i'm going to say uh, we are going to have like two other tuples here <clears throat> the first one is the system message so let's call this as system and the message can be you are a helpful assistant that translates English to French and then I'll put a comma in the next tuple, I'm going to pass the exact message that the assistant needs to translate. So the first of first uh, value will be this human, and I'll say translate this sentence from English to French. So let's understand what this formatting is. So let's close this or you can add the exact sentence as well i'll say i love programming okay so this is the sentence that we are going to translate okay hmm. so first we have the system right so in the system uh, element we have to say what the assistant is going to do or what's the llm is going to do so it's just like setting the context for the llm so in this case we want our assistant to be a translator so i'm saying that you are a helpful assistant that translates english to french or you can also have a different uh, context saying like uh, you are a helpful assistant that answers a specific question or you are an helpful assistant that uh, does this chat completion and so on so similarly we can set up some context and in the next thing we are having this human that means it's a human message so it says translate this sentence from english to french and the sentence is i love programming so when we pass this to llm it will look at the system message and understand like the purpose that it has to kind of do and then we are passing this human message saying that you have to translate this and the exact sentence is i love programming now we can invoke this llm and pass this message so i'll run this and say uh, response is equal to llm dot invoke and within this parenthesis pass this messages okay now let's run this so this will call the gpt 4 model and this will give the response and as you can see the response are like pretty quick you can print this response to see how the formatting is so we have this ai message and the ai message has this kind of key call is called as content and then we have this thing as uh, this specific sentence which is the french form of i love programming so in order to ex extract this content alone so you can just say response dot content so this will be a string variable so i'll say response dot content so let's run this and this will print the exact message so this is how you can uh, 
pass a message with the system configuration of what you want the LLM to do and the exact human uh, sentence and, and the LLM can do the rest. So we are loading this LLM from this uh, chat open EA and then we are setting up the temperature and uh, invoking the LLM with this message and so on. So this is how you can do this. And there is another uh, variation of this called as chaining and that will also be uh, really helpful. So let's understand that as well, which is a bit similar to this. So I'll create a text cell here and call this as chaining. So what we are going to do here is chain the model or let's call this as chain the LLM with a prompt template. So we are going to use a prompt template and we are going to chain it with the LLM so that it kind of solves this purpose and you will understand like what it exactly does once we complete this. So here from langchain uh, underscore core dot prompts. So this langchain core is like another uh, sub module of langchain. So from this prompts, I'm going to import prompt chat prompt template. So Okay, so C, P and T should be in uppercase letters. So from langchain underscore core dot prompts import chat prompt templates and here I'll create a variable called as prompt and this prompt is equal to chat prompt template. And dot from messages. open the parenthesis and then we have to create a list and within that we can say mm. Mm, first is system and within this we can say you are a helpful assistant but translate so here we are not going to say English to French. So we wanted to translate from one language to another using this chat prompt template. So this T should be in caps. Okay. So you are a helpful assistant that translates input language to output language. And then the next parameter will be human and then we are going to pass the input so this input input languages so all these will be substituted later so all this should be present in this uh, curly braces Okay, so that's about it. So we have this system message setting up the context that it should translate from the input language to an output language. So that is the first step and then we have the human message within this input. So now I'm going to create a variable called as chain and chain is equal to prompt and use this vertical bar and say LLM. So this is what we kind of represent chaining by. So chain is equal to prompt and vertical bar LLM and say response is equal to chain dot invoke and create a dictionary and here say like what's your input languages, what's your output languages and what's the input message. So input languages, let's say English and the next key value pair is output language. Let's say the output language is German. You can like try any languages that GPT 4.0 supports and finally we have to pass this input the exact term. So that will be input is equal to let's say I love programming. Okay, so this is how chaining works. So you kind of chain the prompt and the LLM together into this variable called as chain and you invoke this chain with the input language output language and the input so here we have this prompt right so this input language english substitutes this part 
and the output language german substitute this part and then we have this input which will be substituted uh, by this particular key value pair and that's why we have all these in the curly braces so when we run this it this uh, chain will invoke the llm with this particular chat prompt template with all the system and human message and then we will get a response so uh, this llm is something that we have already loaded using this uh, llm chat open ai thing so let's run this and print and see this response so here also the response will be pretty quick so you say this particular statement that's probably in german for uh, the sentence i love programming and if you want to extract this particular output alone say response dot content okay so this is about chaining uh, method where we chain this prompt with an llm and just write some invoke statements okay so this is how you can invoke this newest llm gpt 4 from langchain and this process is same for other gpt models as well gpt 4 or gpt 3.5 and so on okay so i hope uh, everyone understood until this part so here we basically did two things so the first one is kind of uh, invoking the llm just passing uh, context and and uh, human message getting a response and then we have this chat prompt templates where we set up a, a template for this prompts and then later replace so that we can do this for different languages and get a response so that's it from my side and please try this code and let me know if you face any issues so i'll see you in the next upload thanks for watching